And a clean start here in the first of six section of the highs. Spencer Nelson of Danville in the middle of the track. Aplara of Fairfield in five. Guyberson of Fairfield in three. Out of lane four, Spencer Nelson. 2026. 20, 2026 20, for Nelson. In section two, Kleinkoff of Danville in one, Walter of Mediapolis in two, Martinez of Columbus in three, Belzer of Wapolo in four, Scorpel of Winfield Mount Union in five, Kennedy of Mediapolis in six, Oriano of Highland in seven. Belzer of Wapolo in lane four. There's your new leader at 1894. 1894 for Belzer. Section three. Stotler of Mediapolis in one. Zibziak of City High in two. Madrano of Washington in three. Kaplan of City High in four. Hicks of Mediapolis in five. Tone of, of Prairie in six. Logan Cleese of Washington in seven. Dante Zuniga, Columbus in eight. Section number three. Kaplan and Hicks. Kaplan of City High, Trent Hicks of Minneapolis. Hicks and Kaplan. Eighteen twenty seven for Kaplan, eighteen twenty nine for Hicks. There's your new fastest time overall. Let's go to section four. Wiseman of Fort Madison in one. Carlson of Ottumwa in two. Hostetler of Mid Prairie in three. Mater of Mid Prairie in four. Goodhue of Carlisle in five. Hack of Xavier in six. Strabla of Washington in seven. And more of City High in eight.
Section number four. Mater of Mid Prairie on the outside. This is Ian Moore of City High. Moore of City High, Straybluff, Washington. 1869 for Moore, 1827 is still our overall fastest time. Scheduled for Section 5. Zigalowski of Washington in one, Fallis of Carlisle in two. Member of the IATC Shuttle Hurdle Relay winning team for Prairie, Carter Pearl is in three. Bope of Iowa City West in four, Hartman of Xavier in five, Reichenbach of Waco in six, Schmitz of Waco in seven, Roar of Fort Madison in lane eight. Section five of six. In that Harold Aaron's four by two, City High ran 133.84 to win Class A. West Burlington, 141 flat to win Class B. Wapolo, 139.55, and they were your Class C champions. Section number four, or five rather. Prawl in lane three from Xavier. That's Hartman. Reichenbach, state qualifier from Waco, running well in six. But out of lane five, Hartman of Xavier. There's your new leader at 1608. Grayson Hartman of Xavier, the new overall leader at 1608. Let's move now to the final section. Scheduled for lane one, the IATC high jump champion. He was eighth in the 2A high jump a year ago, Mid-Prairie's Kane Brown. In lane two, he won the long jump earlier tonight. A 3A qualifier in the shuttle hurdle relay and distance medley for Mount Pleasant, Will Davidson. In lane three, the IATC indoor long jump champion. Runner-up on the 4 by one and third in the shuttle hurdle relay a year ago for Carlisle Archer Ogborn. In lane four... He ran on the 4A winning shuttle hurdle relay in the Drake Relays runner-up shuttle a year ago. The IATC high hurdle champion, he was on the winning shuttle earlier today from Cedar Rapids Prairie, Jeremy Hardaway. In lane five, seventh in the 3A highs last year from Mount Pleasant, Bryce Wilson. In lane six, he was on that winning 4A shuttle hurdle relay in the runner-up at Drake, Cedar Rapids Prairie's Eli Ebel. In lane seven. He was a state qualifier in the highs and the shuttle hurdle relay, a medalist in the high jump from City High, Matt Schakenbach, and in lane eight, a high hurdle and shuttle hurdle relay qualifier from City High, Austin Rendles. Sixth and final section, high hurdles. All 800-meter runners should be checked in. You're coming up next. And the sixth and final section here of the highs, 1608, our fastest time so far. Schakenbach out in seven. Jer Jeremy Hardaway of Prairie in four. Hardaway. Ogborn of Carlisle. The Schakenbach with a good finish, but Jeremy Hardaway of Cedar Rapids Prairie, 1509 for Hardaway. 1509. 1558 for Schakenbach, 1592 for Ogborn, 1595 for Davidson. Next up, the first of four sections in the Gene Turner, 800. Scheduled for a field of 16 here in the first section. Locker of City High, Edmonds of Washington, Morton of City High, 
Norrell Dame of City High, Maloney of Highland, Gaster of Danville, Dixon of City High, Dunbar of Highland, Younger of Prairie, Stevenson of Fairfield, Pilcher of Fairfield, Egley of Waco, Mulford and Allred of Prairie, Luchens and Rich of Waco. First of four sections, Gene Turner 800. And here is a quick rundown of the team scores in Class B. Class A, rather. City High has 76, Prairie 58, Carlisle 54, Washington 41, Iowa City West 41, Ottumwa 26, Xavier 22, and Mount Pleasant 22. Those are your Class A team scores. So far in Class B, Mid Prairie 82, Minneapolis 80, Fairfield 45, West Burlington 42, Fort Madison, 41, City High JV, 22, Prairie JV, 19, and in Class C, Columbus has 66, Waco, 62, Winfield Mount Union, 50, Danville, 48, Wapolo, 43, Prairie Fresh Soft, 34, City High Fresh Soft, 19, Highland, 15, and Washington JV with 2. And this is the first of four sections in the 800. In the high hurdles, Jeremy Hardaway of Prairie was the A champion and the overall winner at 1509. Class B went to Kane Brown of Mid Prairie at 1697. And Simeon Reichenbach of Waco was your Class C winner running 1627. First of four sections here in the Gene Turner 800. And the leader through the first 400, Carter Mulford, Cedar Rapids Prairie. Then Isaac Rich of Waco. Carter Mulford, Cedar Rapids Prairie freshman leading the field down the back stretch. Carter Mulford of Cedar Rapids Prairie. He's your leader here on the front stretch. Mulford of Prairie. Egley of Waco. And Jonah Egley of Waco with a fine close. And he's going to be your winner in the first section. 228.40 for Jonah Egley. And some good racing here on the front stretch. As we get ready to go to section number two, we'll have Mason Hills Carrier of Columbus, Javier Panchillo of Columbus, 
Braden Oliver of Minneapolis, Will Dixon of City High, Liam Perot of Xavier, Calvin Johnson of Fort Madison, Tanner Stormer of Fort Madison, Jonathan Huff of Mount Pleasant, Thomas Flynn of Mid Prairie, Jacob Donaldson of Mid Prairie, Lively Christofferson of West Burlington, Aiden Muff of Wapolo, Gannon McNamee of Mount Pleasant, Nash Hayek of Cedar Rapids Prairie, James Lee of Xavier. That's your field in section number two. And this is section number two. Here are your shot put results. In class A, Tayshawn McDaniels of City High was your winner, 52-5. Austin Friday, City High third, 47 two and a quarter. Braden Hartman of Washington third in the shot, class A, 45-9 and three quarters. In class B, Caden Barnes of Fort Madison, the winner, 44 feet two. Cole Lipper of Mediapolis, the runner up at 41 feet even. Burke Berry of Mid Prairie, third in the Class B shot at 39-10. In Class C, your winner was Devin Latinsky of Highland, 40 feet, 9.5. Jonah Clark of Waco, the runner-up, 39-7.5. Russell Coyle of Columbus was third, 36-1.5 in the Class C shot put. Once again, this is section number two of four. Oliver of Mediapolis, Dixon of City High, Perot of Xavier, and it's Hills Carrier and Panchillo of Columbus. Will Dixon of City High. Will Dixon of City High. Oliver of Mediapolis. Panchillo of Columbus. Will Dixon, followed by Oliver and Panchio. 226.02 for Dixon. There's your new leader. The overall leader, 226.02, Will Dixon of City High. Let's go to Section 3. Way of Iowa City West, Kaler of Prairie. Morales of Ottumwa, Peterson of Carlisle, Horak of Washington, Cleese of Washington, Bostwick of Xavier, Proctor of Ottumwa, Scorpel of Winfield Mount Union, Peterson of Prairie, Haynes of Winfield Mount Union, Nelson of Winfield Mount Union, Fry and Igme of Carlisle, Belzer of Wapolo and Stock of Mid Prairie. Section 3 of 4, Gene Turner 800.
Section 3 of 4, 226.02, our fastest time so far. And here's your leader, Bryce Way of Iowa City West. Here in Section 3. Ryan Peterson of Carlisle running second, followed by Carson Belzer of Wapolo. In the Class A discus, Tate Jones of Prairie was your winner, 127.02. Braden Hartman of Washington, the runner-up, 127 feet even. Charlie Shetler of Carlisle, third, 118.04. In the B discus, Carter Harmson of Mid Prairie was the winner at 128.01. Sean Dodds of Mid Prairie, the runner up, 116.09. And third, Caden Barnes of Fort Madison, 113.11. Class C discus, Sawyer Nelson of Danville was your winner, 117 feet 4 inches. Nick Crow of Winfield. Mount Union, the runner-up, 109.7. And in third place, at 103 feet, one inch from Columbus, Brian Miranda. And this is section three. Ryan Peterson of Carlisle. Here's your leader on the front stretch. Peterson of Carlisle. Kaler of Prairie. They'll finish second and third behind way of Iowa City West. Two eighteen oh seven now is our time to beat. Two eighteen oh seven. Our fastest time overall as we go to the fourth and final section. We have Amon Smith, IATC indoor gold medalist in the 800 4x4 and 4x8 for City High. He was third in the 4A800 a year ago. Smith wears hip one, wearing hip two. A 4A qualifier in the 800 for Iowa City West, Caden Noller. Wearing hip three, he was seventh in 1A in the 800 and first on the 4x4 for Danville a year ago. In lane four, state beat medalist in the distance medley for Cedar Rapids Prairie, Brady Cortez, wearing hip five. He was the 4A cross-country runner-up. State meet medalist in the 1600 and the 3200 for Iowa City West, Alex McCain. Wearing hip six, he won the 3200 earlier tonight. Seventh in the 3A state meet a year ago in this event, Washington's Lance Saboski. In lane seven, the IATC champion at 804 by 4 from Mediapolis, Logan Rosas. In 8, a shuttle hurdle relay state qualifier from Iowa City City High, Noah Carey. Wearing hip number 9, A.J. Bonison of Danville. Wearing hip 10 from Columbus, Freddie Vergara. Wearing hip 11, Isaiah Albright of Mount Pleasant. Wearing hip 12, Owen Schmidgall of Mediapolis. Harrison Allard of, Mid -Pra of Cedar Rapids Prairie, rather, wears hip 13. Eamon Nordeldame. Of City High, 14. Caden Mickles of Fairfield, 15. And Owen Noble of City High wears hip number 16. Fourth and final section, Gene Turner, 800. I'm on Smith. Of City High was third in the 4A state meet in this event a year ago. Sabaski of Washington was seventh in 3A. Rosas of Mediapolis and Smith of City High each won their division in the IATC Indoor 800 in Ames a couple of weeks ago. 
Outstanding field here in the fourth and final section of the Gene Turner 800 and Alex McCain. He'll be taking his talents to Iowa State next year. And Alex McCain, the leader. 4A medalist in the 1600 and 3200 a year ago. Cross country runner up in the fall. It is McCain of Iowa City West and Amon Smith of City High. Ty Carr of Danville running third. Alex McCain out in front. McCain and Smith. Alex McCain. 200 to go. Smith closing the gap. Alex McCain and Amon Smith. And Smith to the lead. Sebaski running third. Brady Cortez of Prairie in fourth. And Amon Smith brings it off the turn. The Gene Turner, 800. Amon Smith of City High. Alex McCain of Iowa City West. Sebaski and Cortez. And Amon Smith of City High. 157.94. McCain, 201.58. Amon Smith, 157.94. New season's best for the City High Junior. One fifty seven ninety four. Five one hundredths of a second off of the meet record. Held by Tyson Vandraska of Cedar Rapids Prairie at 157.89. So, Amon Smith, we could make your way to the 50 yard line of special medal presentation for the 800. Next up on the track, we're going to run 12 sections of the 200. All of our 200-meter runners should be on the backstretch. The 800-meter run here at the Steve Roth Washington Relays is named in memory of Gene Snook Turner, 1929 graduate of Washington High School. He was an outstanding multi-sport athlete for the Demons. Mr. Turner served in the U.S. Army during World War II, then returned to Washington and worked in the post office until his retirement. The 2022 Gene Snook Turner 800 meter champion from City High of Iowa City, Amon Smith. We're going to need everybody down on the infield, as many as possible, for these 200s, if you would, please. In the first section of 12, Roth of Waco in 2, Aremic of Waco in 3, Roth of Waco in 4, Fall of Cedar Rapids Prairie in 5. First of 12 sections. Here they come off the turn. Roth of Waco. Eremic of Waco. Roth of Waco and Fall of Cedar Rapids Prairie. Nile Fall of Cedar Rapids Prairie. 
and Aramic of Waco. Aramic of Waco in three. 29.01. 29.01 is your initial leader of the EK Slop Coal 200. Section two. Corn of Prairie in one. Malone of Winfield Mount Union in two. Wasson of Minneapolis in three. Walker of Danville in four. Branch of Minneapolis in five. And Lice of Prairie will be in six. Section number two, Kai Malone of Winfield Mount Union, Malone, Lease of Prairie, 2937 in that section, 2901, the winner in that first section still leads as we go to section three, scheduled to have Rudd of Prairie in one. Meta of Danville in two, Radley of City High in three, Panzer of City High in four, Buffington of Winfield Mount Union in five, Tran of City High in lane six. A field of freshmen here in lane or in section three. And a clean start here in section three. Philip Tran of City High and Radley and Panzer of City High. Kenji Radley. Radley in lane four. 27.98 for the new overall leader. 27.98. Schedule for Section 4, Warm Staff of Wapolo in 1, Wynn of City High in 2, Gapen of West Burlington in 3, Leadheiser of Prairie in 4, Makawi of City High in 5, Church of Mount Pleasant scheduled to be in 6. Section 4. And section number four underway. Gapen of West Burlington, Notre Dame. Gapen of West Burlington, Notre Dame in lane three. Gapen, Church of Mount Pleasant. Clark Gapen out of lane three in section number four. There's your new leader at 2657. The overall leader now, 2657, as we move to Section 5. Brennan Westfall of Washington in one, Morris of Fort Madison in two, Hopkins of Carlisle in three, Nordhagen of Carlisle in four, Kerr of Mediapolis in five, Milks of Winfield Mount Union scheduled to be in six. Section 5 of 12.
Section number five. Westfall, Morris, Hopkins, Nordhagen, Kerr, and Milks. Hopkins of Carlisle in lane three. That's Westfall of Washington on the inside. Westfall closing well, as is Nordhagen. Brennan Westfall of Washington out of lane one. There's your new overall leader at 26-18. Section six calls for Sundell of Xavier in one, Smith of Fort Madison in two, Rodriguez of Washington in three, Kramer of Xavier in four, Thatcher of Fort Madison in five, Gonabovic of Mid Prairie in lane six. Section six. Section number six, 2618, our fastest time so far. Kramer of Xavier on the inside, that Sundell of Xavier. Sundell. 2657. So West Falls 26-18 continues to lead as we go to Section 7. Griner of Washington in 1, Casey of Xavier in 2, Martin of West Burlington in 3, Hake of Wapolo in 4, Hobshite of Washington in 5, and Sabota of City High in lane 6. Section number 7 of 12. Joseph Casey of Xavier out well in lane 2. Casey of Xavier. Sabota of City High on the outside. Hake of Wapolo. Hake of Wapolo. Hake in 4. Sabota in 6. Cameron Hake in Section number seven, there's your new leading time at 25.89. Section eight, Williams of Danville in one, Rodriguez Flores of Carlisle in two, Cross of City High in three, West of Wapolo in four, McDowell of Washington in five, and Egan of Minneapolis in lane six. Section number eight of 12. Section number eight. Williams of Danville on the inside. Cadence Williams. Williams, Rodriguez Flores and Cross. Egan of Minneapolis. McDowell of Washington, but out of lane one. That is Cadence Williams. Twenty-five ninety-six of twenty-five eighty-nine by Hake continues to lead. Let's go to section number nine. Acido Akeri of Prairie in one. Nelson of Minneapolis in two. Larson of City High in three. Rue of City High in four. Hoback of Columbus in five. And Reichman of Mount Pleasant in six. Section number nine.
Section number nine. Fan getting out well in the middle of the track. That's Larson and Rue of City High. To the inside, Aceto Akere of Cedar Rapids Prairie. Mike Rue of City High. Hoback of Columbus finishing well. And Rue, your new leader at 25-40. 25-40 for Mike Rue of City High. The new overall leader going to section 10. In lane one, we have Brandon Colomies of Cedar Rapids Prairie. And two, his Prairie teammate, he anchored the shuttle hurdle relay to a win tonight. Also won the highs. This is Prairie's Jeremy Hardaway. In lane three, a 1A qualifier in the 4x1 and 4x2 a year ago for Highland, Tyler Thompson. In lane four, state meet medalist in the 400 hurdles for West Burlington, Jace Figuero. In lane five from Mount Pleasant, Avon Truong. And in lane six from Iowa City West, Ashton Honor. Section 10. Section 10, Hardaway out well. Hardaway and Calmees of Cedar Rapids Prairie. Figuero of West Burlington in four. Hardaway and Figuero. High hurdler and 400 hurdler battling it out. And out of lane four, Jace Figuero, 24-33. There's your new leader, 24-33. Jace Figuero of West Burlington. Now to section 11, Taylor of Prairie in one, Derby of Ottumwa in two, in lane three, a 2A qualifier in the 4x2 in distance medley for Mid-Prairie, Carter Harmson. In lane four, long jump and 4x1 state qualifier for Columbus, Caden Amagon. In lane five, 4x1 and 4x2 and 200 state qualifier for Highland, Collar Grinstead. And in lane six, Todd Rent of Iowa City West. Section 11. 24.33 is our overall fastest time so far. Section number 11, Harmson and Amagon in the middle of the track. That's Taylor of Cedar Rapids Prairie. Taylor of Prairie, Amagon of Columbus, Rent of Iowa City West, Caden Amagon of Columbus in lane four. 24-43 for Amagon. So Figueroa continues to lead at 24-33. To the 12th and final section in lane one, Abaya Salima of Atumwa. In lane two, a 4A qualifier in the 4x2 in shuttle hurdle relay for Iowa City West, Christian Janis. In lane three, the reigning 3A state champion at 400. He won the 400 earlier tonight from Washington, Elijah Morris. In lane four, state meet medalist in three relays last year. He ran on the IATC winning 4x4 for Mediapolis, Caden Salick. In lane five, Qualified to the state meet in four events last year for Ottumwa, Austin Fountain. And in lane six, state meet medalist in the high jump for Mid-Prairie, Kane Brown. Twelfth and final section, E.K. Slop Cole 200, 24-33 the time to beat.
Twelfth and final section. Elijah Morris, the 400 champion from Washington, out well in three. It is Morris. It is Janice of Iowa City West running second. Morris and Janice. Salik of Minneapolis. Elijah Morris. He won the 400 earlier tonight. It appears he's going to win the 200. And he does in 23-64. Elijah Morris, the junior from Washington. Your 200 and 400 champion. Elijah Morris, we need you at the 50-yard line, please. Four hundred hurdles will be up next. All seven sections of the four hundred hurdles should be checked in. Sixteen hundred meter runners, check in if you've not done so. All seven sections, four hundred hurdles, you should all be checked in. The two hundred meter dash at the Washington Relays is named in memory of longtime Washington Community School District Administrator E. K. Kelly Slopkoll. Kelly was a timer for the Washington Relays, the Drake Relays, and the Iowa High School State Meet. During his years at Washington, we had some outstanding 220-yard dash runners, and it soon became his favorite event. Ladies and gentlemen, the E.K. Slopkoll 200 champion for 2022, Elijah Morris of Washington. And hurdles are being set. Next up on the track will be the Brian Stiegel 400-meter hurdles. We will run in seven sections. 1,600-meter runners should be checked in. And our final two events, the 4x1 and 4x4s, you may check in as well. If you still got an event to run tonight, let's get checked in. We're going to the 400 hurdles. In the Class A 800, Amon Smith of City High was your winner and the overall champion at 157.94. In Class B, Logan Rosas of Minneapolis, the winner at 207.32. And in Class C, Ty Carr of Danville was your winner, 207.27. In the 200 that just finished in Class A, Elijah Morris of Washington. Your Class A and overall champion at 2364. In Class B, Jace Figueroa of West Burlington, 2433. In Class C, your 200 champion from Columbus at 2443, Caden Amagon. In this first of seven sections, scheduled to have Marco Kiros of Waco in one, Matt Kennedy of Minneapolis in two, lane three, Kobe Hershberger of Mid Prairie, lane four, Jaron Frank of Wapolo. Tanner Egley of Waco in five, John McLaughlin of Waco in six.
Heroes and Kennedy, Hershberger, Egley, and McLaughlin, the first of seven sections in the 400 hurdles. Hershberger of Mid Prairie in lane three. Egley and McLaughlin. Kiros of Waco. Kiros on the inside now is your leader at 200. Marco Kiros of Waco. Kiros of Waco. Hershberger of Mid Prairie. Marco Kiros of Waco in the first of seven sections. One oh seven fifty three. There's our initial fastest time. One oh seven fifty three for Kiros. Scheduled for section two. Winterberg of Prairie in one. Nelson of Danville in two. Moore of City High in three. Belzer of Wapolo in four. Gunn of Mediapolis in five. Day of Highland in six. Section two of seven. Winterberg and Moore, Belzer and Gunn. And Elijah Belzer of Wapolo is out well in lane four. Belzer of Wapolo. Ian Moore of City High. Belzer. And Moore, Winterberg, and Gunn. And here's the race to the finish. Moore and Belzer. Ian Moore of City High. Elijah Belzer of Wapolo. Moore and Belzer, 104.26 for Moore. He's got the fastest time so far, 104.26. And let's go to section three. Martinez of Columbus in one, Pearl of Prairie in two, Hostetler of Mid Prairie scheduled for three, Kleinkoff of Danville in four, Hack of Xavier in five, Dante Zuniga of Columbus scheduled for six.
Section number three, Martinez and Prohl, Kleinkoff, Hack, and Zuniga. Will Hack of Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Dante Zuniga of Columbus. 104.26, our overall fastest time so far. Hack of Xavier out in front with 200 to go. Hack, Zuniga, Kleinkoff of Danville. Kleinkoff into second. And your leader now coming off the turn, Will Hack, a junior from Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Hack, Kleinkoff, Carter Prohl of Prairie. Hack of Xavier out of lane five, 106-26. Ian Moore continues to lead at 104-26. Let's go to section four now. We have Johnson of Mount Pleasant in one, Scorpel of Winfield Mount Union in two, Bowl of West Burlington in three, Olson of Xavier in four, Nelson of Danville scheduled to be in five, and Stotler of Minneapolis in six. Section number four, 106 26, 104 26, rather, our fastest time so far by Ian Moore of City High. Johnson and Scorpel, Olson, Nelson, and Stotler. Quinn Olson, Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Spencer Nelson of Danville. Stotler of Minneapolis in third, and it's Scorpel. And Johnson, Quinn Olson of Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Olson and Nelson off the turn. Quinn Olson of Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Spencer Nelson of Danville. Scorpel of Winfield Mount Union. Quinn Olson out of lane four in section four. 10409. There's your new overall leader. 10409, Quinn Olson. Let's move now to section number five. Scheduled to have Rendles of City High in one, Davis of Mount Pleasant in two, Mast of Carlisle in three, Carlson of Ottumwa in four, Abbott of Iowa City West in five, Mater of Mid Prairie scheduled to be in six. Section 5 of 7, 104.09, our overall fastest time so far. And section number five, Rendles, Davis, Mast, Carlson, Abbott, and Mater. Mark Mast of Carlisle, Caden Mater of Mid Prairie. Mark Mast, a Carlisle junior running well in lane three.
Mark Mast of Carlisle. Abbott of Iowa City West, Mater of Mid Prairie. Rendles of City High as Mast takes a tumble. On the inside, it's Austin Rendles of City High. Rendles. Mater of Mid Prairie. Davis of Mount Pleasant. Out of lane one. Austin Rendles of City High. 103.88. There's your new overall leader. 103.88. Austin Rendles of City High. Let's go to section six of seven of the Brian Stiegel 400 hurdles. In lane one, Travis Hyde of Carlisle. In two, McCaden Rohr of Fort Madison. In three, Philip Kaplan of City High. Gabriel Hemsworth of Winfield Mount Union in four. Quinn Labina, Wabina of Washington in five. And Noah Nolan of Carlisle in six. Section 6, Hyde, Rohr, Kaplan, Hemsworth, Wubina, and Noland. Philip Kaplan of City High. Kaplan of City High, Hemsworth of Winfield Mount Union. Rohr of Fort Madison. Kaplan and Hemsworth. And off the turn, McCaden Rohr of Fort Madison in lane two. Rohr of Fort Madison, Kaplan of City High, Hemsworth of Winfield Mount Union. Hemsworth moves into second. Gabe Hemsworth of Winfield Mount Union out of lane four. 102.57, there's your new overall leader. 102.57, Hemsworth of Winfield Mount Union. Let's go to the seventh and final section. In lane one, he was seventh in the 3A high hurdles a year ago. He won the long jump tonight from Mount Pleasant, Will Davidson. In lane two from Iowa City West, Aiden Jacobson. In lane three, a 4A and Drake Relays, shuttle hurdle and 400 hurdle qualifier, a state meet medalist in the high jump from City High, Matt Schakenbach. In lane four, IATC 400 and 4x4 champion, 4A medalist in the 4x1 sprint medley and distance medley from City High, Javon Harris. In lane five, a shuttle hurdle relay qualifier from Iowa City West, Clayton Bope, Keaton Crawford of Washington runs in six. 102.57, the time to beat here in the Brian Stiegel, 400 hurdles, section seven of seven. Section 7 of 7, Davidson, Jacobson, Schakenbach, Harris, Bope, and Crawford. 102.57, the time to beat. Javon Harris taking it out early in four. His teammate Schakenbach going with him. Matt Schakenbach. 
Javon Harris. Shakenbach and Harris. Davidson of Mount Pleasant. Battle of Little Hawks up front as they bring it off the turn. Shakenbach in three and Harris in four. Davidson of Mount Pleasant closing well on the inside. Matt Shakenbach and Javon Harris of City High. Javon Harris. 56-39 for the win. Shakenbach, the runner-up, 57-19. Javon Harris of City High to the 50-yard line, please. And we've been asked to make the last call for a concession stand. So if you want one of those great sandwiches while they're still hot, concession stand has made the last call. So you want to make your way there here shortly as we get ready to go now to the 1600. We're going to run this in three sections. Ladies and gentlemen, the 400 hurdles are named after Brian Stiegel. Brian Stiegel is on hand to hand out the medal to our winner tonight. Brian ran track for Washington from 1996 to 1999. He holds the school record for the 400 lows of 52-22. Some of Brian's other accomplishments while a demon, two-time 3A 400 hurdles champion, a 3A 4x1 gold medalist, and a Drake Relays gold medalist in the 400 hurdles and the 4x4. The winner of the Brian Stiegel 400 hurdles for 2022 from City High, Javon Harris. Next up, first of three sections in the 1600. All 4x1s and 4x4s should be checked in. We have Snakenberg of Washington, Lee of City High, Mesh of Winfield Mount Union, Carr of City High, Schaefer of City High, Laurent of Xavier, Freeze of Danville, Shutwell of Fort Madison, Tolaza of Ottumwa, Schneblin of Highland, Bachman of Waco, Dennis of Waco, Lugens of Waco, and Gaster of Danville. First of three sections in the 1600. And the early leader in this first section, Peyton Snakenberg of Washington. And it's Tommy Lee of City High, Mesh of Winfield Mount Union. In the 400 hurdles, your Class A winner and the Brian Stiegel overall champion running 56-39 from City High, Javon Harris. Class B winner from Fort Madison ran 102-69, McCaden Rohr. And in Class C... Your overall, you're their Class C champion, rather, 102.57 from Winfield Mount Union, Gabriel Hemsworth. So the first section of the 1600 is on the track, all 4x1s and all 4x4s. You should all be checked in and ready to go. And the lead pack now set to come into the front stretch. 
Lee of City High leads the field. Lee of City High and his teammate Adam Schaefer. And it's Mesh of Winfield Mount Union and Snakenberg of Washington. George Carr of City High. Cameron Shutwell of Fort Madison. City High teammates, Tommy Lee and Adam Schaefer on the back stretch. Once again, the first of three sections. I want to thank all the coaches and student athletes for their outstanding effort tonight to be ready when your race was called. Eliminate any delay in this somewhat inclement weather. And once again, a big thank you to our starter, Mr. Mr. Bill Neal, and all the volunteers that helped put on this outstanding track meet tonight here at the Steve Roth Washington Relays for 2022. Here come your leaders in the first section of the 1600, Tommy Lee and Adam Schaefer of City High. George Carr of City High makes it a 1 2 3 sweep here with a lap to go. Lee and Schaefer at the bell. One to go for Carr. Mesh of Winfield Mount Union running fourth. City High teammates, shoulder to shoulder on the back stretch. Lee in the black over red. Schaefer in the all red of the Little Hawks. And here they come off the turn. Tommy Lee and Adam Schaefer, City High teammates. And Schaefer to the lead. Lee and Schaefer. Five thirty eighty five for Schaefer to win that first section. Good racing going on here on the front stretch in this first section of the sixteen hundred. Scheduled for a field of seventeen in the second section. Schwarzendruber, Paul Green, Kessler. Batian, Lancaster, McWilliams, Kennedy, Vukovic, Alderton, Tricano, Vergara, Siemens, Ewalt, Maliki, Wolf, Degner, and Vanderlinden. Section 2, 1600.
Scheduled for a field of 17 here in the second section of three. Emmett Swartz and Druber of Mid Prairie. The early leader, Andrew Pohl Green of Iowa City West in that second spot. Braden Kessler of Carlisle in third. This field moves to the back stretch. And here comes your field. They'll have 800 in and 800 to go. Swartz and Druber of Mid Prairie, freshman for the Golden Hawks, out in front. Vander Linden of City High has moved up into second. Digner of City High running third. Emmett Swartz and Druber of Mid Prairie. Here's your leader on the front stretch, and he'll be coming to the bell. Swartz and Druber of Mid Prairie will be our leader with a lap to go. Owen Vanderlin of City High running second. Kessler of Carlisle in third. Cole Green of Iowa City West in fourth. And it's Digner of City High. But your leader's moving to the back stretch, and that is Emmett Swartzendruber, the freshman from Mid Prairie, has been our leader from the gun. Schwarzendruber and Vanderlinden. Emmett Schwarzendruber of Mid Prairie. He's been our leader from the gun in this section. And a good battle for second, Vanderlinden and Pole Green. Emmett Schwarzendruber will be the winner in section number two, followed by Pole Green and Vanderlinden. 509.29 for our new overall leader, Emmett Swartz and Druber. 509.29.
In this third section, Ford Washburn's in the field. He won the IATC Indoor 3200 and went on the winning 4x8. Two times top six finisher in 4A cross country. Shetler of Mid Prairie, seventh in the 2A, 1600 a year ago. Truman Thompson of City High. Won two gold medals at the IATC Indoor. Mustafa Tia of Iowa City West. Bryson Canton of Prairie. Zach Cooper of Prairie. Solomon Zog of Minneapolis. Isaac Acosta of Columbus. Carson Nove of Prairie. Patrick Sarsfield of City High. Micah Reese of Washington. Brody Roth of Carlisle. Noah Sparrow of Winfield Mount Union. Asa Canny of Ottumwa. Colby Newsom of Winfield Mount Union. Jace Yoder of Mid Prairie. And Jeff Campbell of Minneapolis. Final section, 1600. Outstanding field of 17 here in this final section. That's Canton of Cedar Rapids Prairie on the rail. Ford Washburn, a junior from City High, who's run 14 or 41933 at the Dickinson Relays. And Washburn out in front. Truman Thompson, City High teammate. Thompson was a state meet medalist in the 800 last year. Medalist at Drake and state in the 4x8 for the Little Hawks. Ford Washburn out in front. Washburn a two-time top six finisher in 4A cross country. Three times in the top 20. Ian Thompson. Mustafa Tia, the freshman from Iowa City West. In that top four as well. Bryson Canton on the inside, Tia on the outside of that second row. Shetler, an outstanding carry on their medley earlier for the Golden Hawks in the top five. Washburn and Thompson and Tia, Canton and Shetler. Washburn, Thompson, and Tia, one, two, and three. And it's Canton of Prairie. Shetler of Mid Prairie. Outstanding my, or 1,600 records here at the Washington Relays. 421 and change in Class A for Kevin Lewis of Ottumwa. 427 in Class B. Is where Shetler would fall in. Washburn with two to go. Running at 431 pace here. Shetler and Thompson and Tia. They go past the scoreboard to the back stretch, and it's Canton and Shetler running fourth and fifth and leading a large chase pack is Solomon Zog of Minneapolis. Washburn pushing the pace on the back stretch. The top three spreading out just a bit. Washburn, Thompson, and Tia. They're bringing it off the turn, and they'll be coming to the bell. Ford Washburn of City High. For a qualifier in this event a year ago, 
One of the state's very best this year. He's run 419 and change and Washburn and Thompson together at the bell. 324 with a lap to go. Ford Washburn. The meet record held by Kevin Lewis, who had an all Big Ten career at Iowa, is 421. And Washburn has thrown it down on the backstretch. Ford Washburn of City High. Truman Thompson of City High. Ford Washburn. Washburn of City High. Washburn off the turn. The overall state leaders, 418 and change. Gabe Nash of Sioux City North. Washburn sits number four, 419.33. He had an outstanding effort here tonight. Chilly weather in Washington. Ford Washburn runs 423.67. Fifty-seven seconds on that closer for Washburn. Thompson four thirty-one seventy-two for second. Tia third four thirty-eight oh three. You see the results populating up on the board. This first of four sections in the Steve Roth 4 by 100 Danville in one, Mount Pleasant in two, Fort Madison in three, Washington JV in four, Minneapolis JV in five, and Waco in six. First of four sections in the Steve Roth 4 by 100 meter relay. Lane assignments once again, Danville in one, Mount Pleasant in two, Fort Madison in three, Washington JV in four, Minneapolis JV in five, and Waco in lane six. Steve Roth, 4x1, Danville in 1, Mount Pleasant in 2, Fort Madison in 3, Washington in JV in 4, Minneapolis JV in 5, Waco in 6, Waco out in front, Fort Madison in 3,
Waco, Minneapolis. We go to the anchor. It's Waco and Fort Madison, rather. Waco, Fort Madison, and Mount Pleasant. Fort Madison, Mount Pleasant. Johnson on the anchor. Won the 100 earlier tonight. 48-16 for Fort Madison. Section 2, Winfield Mount Union in 1. City High Fresh Soft in 2. Xavier in 3. City High JV in 4. 1A qualifier from a year ago with two members back. Highland in 5. Prairie Fresh Soft in 6. Section 2 of 4. Section two of four. Winfield Mount Union, City High Fresh Soft, Xavier, City High JV, Highland, and Cedar Rapids Prairie Fresh Soft. City High JV in four, Xavier in three. They'll run Cunningham third and anchor Rexroth. Xavier. And we go to the anchor leg. On the inside, it's Winfield Mount Union. They got a good carry from Buffington. They're anchoring Simmons. Xavier with Rexroth. Winfield Mount Union and Cedar Rapids Xavier. 46-77. There's your new Steve Roth 4x1 leader. Winfield Mount Union at 46-77. In section three. Of four, a Tumwa in one, Prairie JV in two, Prairie Varsity in three, Wapolo fifth and one A a year ago with two members back from that foursome. The Indians were running four. Columbus, a 1A qualifier a year ago with two members back, and they'll be in five. And Mid Prairie, a 2A qualifier last year, will be in lane six. Section three of four. And Columbus running well. And Wapolo. Columbus and Cedar Rapids Prairie. Cedar Rapids Prairie with Quentin Alexander on their anchor. Columbus will be countering with Amagon, the Class C 200 champion, but it is Prairie and Wapolo. Wapolo with Gustafson, the IATC 60 champion. Wapolo, Prairie, Columbus. In the Class A 1600, Ford Washburn of City High was your winner and your overall champion at 423.67. Class B, Thaddeus Shetler of Mid Prairie, 454.49. And in Class C, your winner was Isaac Acosta of Columbus, 510.16. And we're getting ready to go to the final section here of the 4x1. Team scores going into the 4x1. 
Class A, City High 143, Prairie 91, Iowa City West 74, Washington 72, Carlisle 66, Mount Pleasant 30, Ottumwa 27, Xavier 23, and we'll give you the other two classes after this final section of the 4x1. Minneapolis in one, West Burlington in two, Iowa City West in three, City High in four, Carlisle in five, Washington in six. Mediapolis on the inside, they were 7th and 2A last year. Two members from that quartet running tonight. West Burlington, a 3A qualifier in 2. Iowa City West, a 4A qualifier in 3, and they're out well. City High in 4. Opened up with Rue, they're running Tan on the second leg. They'll run right, Mike Rue, 3rd. They were 7th and 4A last year. Carlisle, the 3A runner-up in 5. City High, Carlisle. And as we head to the anchor, West Burlington and Iowa City West, it is West Burlington with Jack Riley. West Burlington and a good battle for second, Minneapolis and Iowa City West, but it's West Burlington out of lane two, 45-40. West Burlington. Forty-four fifty-six, the time for West Burlington. Forty-four fifty-six. They are the Steve Roth Relay Champ, four by one champions for two thousand and twenty-two. If we can get that West Burlington Quartet to the fifty-yard line for a special medal presentation. The four by one here at the Washington Relays is named in honor of current Demons Varsity track coach Steve Roth. Coach Roth has been the head of the boys' program at Washington High School since 1976. Coach Roth puts in countless hours keeping Case Field one of the finest in southeast Iowa. Washington truly does appreciate Coach Roth's dedication to Demon Athletics. Now we're going to the 4x4. We're going to run this off in four sections. Your four by one champions, the Steve Roth four by one, West Burlington. Class B team scores, Minneapolis 132, Mid Prairie 128, Fort Madison 68, City High 57, West Burlington 54, Fairfield 53, Cedar Rapids Prairie JV 25. Remember these team scores are before the four by one. In Class C, Columbus 123, Danville 84, Winfield Mount Union 81, Waco 75, Wapolo 54, Highland 36, Cedar Rapids Prairie 36, City High Fresh Soft 34, Washington JV 2. And this is our final event of the 2022 Steve Roth Washington Relays, the Doug Dunlap 4x4. This is the first of four sections with Highland, Columbus, and Waco. In the 4x1, in Class A, your champion was Iowa City West running 45-40. 
Your Class B champion and overall winner was West Burlington at 44-56. Class C winner in the 4x1 was Wapolo with 40, running 46-48. Once again, the first of four sections of the Doug Dunlap 4x4 Highland, Columbus, and Waco. And Columbus leading off with Humiston. And it's Highland and Waco. Columbus with the exchange. Cabrera running this leg for Columbus. And it's Highland and Waco. First of four sections here in the Doug Dunlap 400, our final event of the 2022 Steve Roth Washington Relays. And Columbus, the leader off the turn. Highland running second. Waco in third here in this first section. Latenci running this leg for Columbus. It's Columbus, Highland, and Waco. And Columbus, your leader off the turn. And we'll be going to the anchor. Columbus will be first to make the exchange. Followed by Highland. Columbus with the lead in this first section. They move to the back stretch. Now Waco set to make the pass. This is the first of four sections of the Doug Dunlap 4x4. Four four. Columbus Highland and Waco. And Columbus will be the winner in the first of four sections of the 4x4. Four four. Four thirteen seventy seven for Columbus. In section two, Wapolo and one, West Burlington and two, City High JV and three, Minneapolis JV and four, City High Fresh Soft and five, Cedar Rapids Prairie Fresh Soft in lane six. Section two.
Section 2, Wapolo, City High JV, Minneapolis JV, City High Fresh Soft, and Prairie Fresh Soft. Wapolo scheduled to open up with Hake, City High with Prusner. Campbell scheduled to lead off for Mediapolis. Ross for City High Fresh Soft. From the outside in, it's Prairie, City High, Mediapolis, City High JV, Wapolo. Cedar Rapids Prairie Fresh Soft. Prairie. First to make the exchange. And it's Wapolo. City High, Minneapolis. Cedar Rapids Prairie, your leader here in section two. Stay out of the middle, please. Do not be in the roped in area. That's roped off for a reason. Thank you. Cedar Rapids Prairie and Wapolo. City High, Minneapolis. Cedar Rapids Prairie. Your leader off the turn will be coming to the anchor here in section number two, 41377, the winning time in the first section. Prairie with the exchange. Wapolo makes the pass. Here are the two City High squads in Minneapolis. Cedar Rapids Prairie, the leader with 200 to go. Cedar Rapids Prairie here on the front stretch. Cedar Rapids Prairie. They're going to be the winner in section two. 351 60. Wapolo. And City High, City High, and Minneapolis here on the front stretch.
Section 3, Mid Prairie. Cedar Rapids Prairie, a 4A qualifier from a year ago. Ottumwa was a 4A qualifier. They have three members back from that quartet. Danville, the reigning 1A champion. Ty Carr was on that foursome. He's scheduled to anchor for the Bears. Mount Pleasant in five, Winfield Mount Union in six. Section three of four of the four by four. Our fastest time so far, 351.60. Section number three here of the four by four. Mount Pleasant. And Danville. That's Winfield Mount Union in six. Ottumwa running in three. Prairie in two. Mid Prairie on the inside. Danville and Mount Pleasant. Ottumwa closing well with Grave. Hardaway on the lead leg for Prairie. Danville with Williams and Mount Pleasant with Feldman. And we go to the exchange and everybody's together. And Cedar Rapids Prairie. Leading the field down the back stretch. This is the third of four sections, 351.60, the fastest time so far here in the Doug Dunlap 4x4. Cedar Rapids Prairie. A great battle for second, Ottumwa, Mount Pleasant, and Danville. Prairie out in front. And this is the third leg of this 4 by 4 Cedar Rapids Prairie with the lead on the back stretch. Ottumwa running second. Danville, Mount Pleasant. Cedar Rapids Prairie. Kolasic set to run the anchor for the Prairie Hawks. Prairie makes the pass. Otumwa with the exchange. Austin Fountain on their anchor leg. Danville. Mount Pleasant. Mid Prairie. Winfield Mount Union. Cedar Rapids Prairie out in front. And Ottumwa closing the gap. It's Prairie and Ottumwa. Section three. Prairie and Ottumwa. Kolasic and Fountain. Prairie. Prairie and Ottumwa. Three thirty nine ninety four. There's our fastest time going to the fourth and final section.
And the fourth and final section, Cedar Rapids, Xavier and one, Iowa City West and two, City High. The IATC Indoor Champion will be in lane three, Mediapolis. They were third and 2A a year ago. Three members back from that quartet here tonight. Carlisle, a 3A qualifier in five. Fort Madison, a 3A qualifier from a year ago in lane six. Final section of the 4 by 4 to wrap up the 2022 edition of the Steve Roth Washington Relays. Once again, thank you student athletes for your great efforts. Thank you to all of our officials, volunteers, all the staff at Washington. Fourth and final section of the Doug Dunlap 4x4, four four, the time to beat, 339-94. Xavier, Iowa City West, City High. City High opening up with Smith, tonight's 800 champion. Mediapolis with Salick. He was on the foursome that finished third last year at the state meet in 2A. Carlisle with McCormick. He was on their state qualifying quartet. And here comes the lead leg off the turn. City High. City High, Mediapolis, Carlisle, Iowa City West, and Xavier. And City High with the exchange. City High and Carlisle now moving into second. City High, Carlisle, Mediapolis, Iowa City West, and Xavier. City High, well out in front. The race heating up for second. Carlisle, Mediapolis, and Iowa City West. The Little Hawks here on the front stretch. Wildcats of Carlisle, Mediapolis, Iowa City West, and Xavier. City High has made the exchange. Carlisle with the pass, Mediapolis, Iowa City West, and Xavier. Iowa City West got a good carry from Mustafa Tia, their freshman miler. And they're running Alex McCain on this leg. That's City High out in front. Mediapolis into second. City High and Mediapolis, Carlisle and Iowa City West and Xavier. Mount Pleasant Boys coach, we need you at the finish line, please. Here's City High. Mediapolis running second. Iowa City West and Carlisle. As we move to the anchor leg. City High. Mediapolis running Anthony Isley. He was on that foursome that was third and 2A a year ago. Thompson on the anchor for City High. City High and Mediapolis. Iowa City West. 
Carlisle and Xavier. Less than 200 meters to go to wrap up this Steve Roth Washington relays. And City High out in front of this final section of the 4x4. Four four. The time to beat 339.94. City High in Minneapolis. Thompson and Isley. It is City High and Minneapolis. Iowa City West. Carlisle and Xavier. 335-16, the time for City High. And they will be the Doug Dunlap 4x4 champions. If we can get that quartet to the 50-yard line. The Doug Dunlap 4x4 is named after longtime Washington High School Administrator and Hall of Fame Athletic Director Doug Dunlap. Mr. Dunlap calls this event the most exciting race in track and field. The Doug Dunlap 4x4 and your winners tonight, the Little Hawks of City High. They've spent a lot of time at the 50-yard line tonight. Coaches, packets will be ready at the press box. I'm going to stop by and pick those up before you get on the bus, please. And here are your final team scores. Class A, City High, 161, Prairie, 101, Iowa City West, 88, Washington, 78, Carlisle, 72, Ottumwa, 33, Mount Pleasant, 30, Xavier, 25. Class B team scores, Minneapolis, 150, Mid Prairie, 140, Fort Madison, 74, City High JV 64, West Burlington also had 64, Fairfield 53, Cedar Rapids Prairie JV 27. In Class C, Columbus 131, Danville 94, Winfield Mount Union 93, Waco 76, Wapolo 70, Cedar Rapids Prairie Fresh Soft 44, Highland 40, Iowa City Fresh Soft 37, Washington JV 2. In that final event, the 4x4, four four, Columbus, or in Class A, City High, 335-16, and they were your overall winner. In Class B, it was Minneapolis, 337-41, and in Class C, Danville, 348-83. Once again, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support of the great sport of track and field. You're going to be surprised by uh, some of the results in the basketball tournament tonight. Maybe you won't be surprised. Travel safely wherever it is you may be going and enjoy the rest of your spring. Hope you enjoyed the game and have a safe trip home.
Make sure to congratulate the winners of tonight's game. Here's some ideas on how to stay safe. Watch for deer, people, and other vehicles. Eyes on the road, not your phone. Buckle your seatbelt. Watch your speed limit. Watch for stop signs. Keep an eye on the weather. Be aware of your surroundings and don't drink and drive. Thanks for coming to Case Field. We enjoyed having you as a guest. We hope to see you at future events. Have safe travels.